Good morning and welcome to the video for Friday, April the 17th for third grade. This is going to cover uh, our next lesson and I believe it's lesson 10.6. We are going to be working on measuring. So this might be a little awkward if you don't have a ruler, but I'm going to show you a trick that I would use and what I have asked students to do in the past um, if they're working on the homework at home. For instance, they could take this part of the page with them to use to help measure things. Um, but normally we would do this in the classroom and we would have rulers and everything will be perfect. Um, I am using a whiteboard app. I have made sure that all three pages are the same side. No, you can't see the little bottom portion of this because of um, the way that the uh, crop worked, but it is the same size page. Um, and I, I use a uh, snipping tool to kind of pull things out of the online uh, book for that. So um, no, the bottom line is not there, but all three things are the same page, which means if this is to scale and everything else is to scale, um, then I can use that to help with the measurement. So that's the way I'm going to try to do that. If you get slightly different answers, not the end of the world. So. Um, if you get something drastically different than what I get, then we definitely need to have a talk about that um, and figure out uh, what happened. So let's go ahead and look at our um, examples. So for the unlock the problem, they gave two different things. We are going to be talking about measuring to the nearest half inch as well as to the nearest quarter inch or fourth inch. Um, so if we look closely at what we have for the glue stick, we are almost going to be to the two and a half inch mark. If I wanted to round this up to the nearest half inch, um, I would be going to two and a half inches for that because I'm between two and two and a half. If I were going to the nearest quarter inch, it also looks like I'm closer to two and a half than two and a quarter. Um, so my second example with the paper clip, um, if I were going to the nearest half inch, I would probably go backward to here and say that it is closer to one and a half inches than it is to two. Um, if we were going to the nearest quarter inch, we are gonna go here and we would say that it would be one and three quarter inches. Um, I'm not gonna take the time to write the things in, but uh, if you wanna go ahead and do that. So I am skipping this activity. I normally do this in the class and we uh, gather up a bunch of crayons that either have been left in my room um, or that people have been using uh, that are newer and some that are older and are almost gone. And we do this activity as a class. If you would like to do this one, you are more than welcome to, um, but I am not going to demonstrate that on camera today. So the part that I will do, if we go down to the bottom for number one, I am gonna kind of show you how this works. So I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit and I'm going to use this part right here. And because I have my little lines here, um, that's going to help me see on my whiteboard app as I drag this over. Um, the ruler in the background is going to be a little bit translucent. So I'm going to try to line it up. And it looks like the key comes out to be pretty close to two inches. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and put down for that. And again, if you get something that is slightly different, again, that's OK. Um, however, I do need to make this move so I can actually write in here. And I'm going to be using this page again in a moment. So what I'm going to do is to make this part move over here so I can use it a little bit easier. So um, what they wanted us to do for number three was to go ahead and take um, all of these individual lines and try to measure them. So again, I'm going to use, um, I think I'll use uh, this side this time. And so my lines are going to shrink a little bit. Um, and this may be a little bit tricky to see, um, but I am looking as I'm holding it just underneath the glue stick. Um, and actually for these first couple, I could actually use this one. Um, where I have the kind of uh, markings and I'm getting ready to point at the screen knowing that you're probably not going to be able to see my finger. So uh, this one comes out to almost a half an inch. The next one would come out to almost an inch. And the one below that would also come out to almost an inch. 
um, but it's just slightly longer. I don't have it lined up exactly with the uh, thing the way this is dragging. So um, there we go. You can kind of see that it's just a little bit past uh, the mark from that. So I'm going to write down half inch, one inch, rounding up, and one inch for the first three. And what I'm going to do is if we're doing this, I'm going to do my markings like this, where I'm going each half inch. And I don't remember, I think this might be the only one that would be a candidate for the three and a half. So I have one for half inch and I have two so far for one inch. And sorry if this is difficult to see because I'm zoomed out. I'm getting ready to do the next line of measurements. So if you want to try this part along with me, um, if we look and this one was worth one, um, all of these are probably going to be somewhere in the uh, between one and two inches range. So I'm going to try to line up here. Actually, I think I'm going to zoom in first so it might be a little bit easier to see what's going on. Again, the joys of trying to work with technology. So I'm going to use my little um, dotted line here as kind of the mark. And so um, I am going to be for my first line at just past one and a half inches. The second one uh, looks like it would also round to one and a half inches. And the third one would also round to one, uh, one and a half inches. Again, we're doing it to the nearest half inch um, in spite of the words that you're seeing covering up uh, where uh, it says the nearest quarter inch. Um, the bottom one, they wanted us to do it uh, for the quarter inch. So all of these three, uh, we're going to say that they're about one and a half inches. Um, now let's do our next set, which will be these three here. And so having a little difficulty. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more and see if that changes. There we go. So actually none of these will even make it to three inches as I'm looking at it on the scale. So um, this could be slightly different um, trying to do it this way, but at least we can kind of get a feel for what things should be. Um, so my first line would come out to about two and a half inches, then two inches, and then two inches. And I will have to compare that with um, what we would get um, in the teacher edition and see if there's any difference. Um, and if there is, I will post a comment in the video of what the book was expecting for that. Um, if we were to do these, we would have um, different markings uh, for that. So we could go um, for like one and a half, or sorry, half inch, three quarter inch, one, um, probably one and a quarter, one and a half, um, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, uh, two and three quarter, three, and then go up to three and a half. Um, so we would kind of have the same scale, um, but we would have, like for instance, less on the one and a half and probably one less on the two inches for doing that. So um, there's a brief introduction to how that should work. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Sorry, this video takes a little bit longer um, to kind of show you how I did it. Again, if you don't have a ruler at home, I would suggest you take the page, kind of fold it over and try to line it up as best you can. And I will take a look and see if there's any adjustments that need to be made. And I'll be sure to post those in the uh, description for the video and let you know in Google Classroom as well. So I uh, hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.